In the woods around Setubal, you only have to walk a few meters to find a sick tree like this one, which has been devastated by the infestation of a microscopic worm, the nematode. Foresters say that Portugal's maritime pine forests are in danger of being wiped out. Here's a classic example of a tree affected by the nematode worm. It has all the symptoms, it's totally dried up. What happens is that the worm reproduces inside the tree, and that reproductive process blocks up the tree's sap roots so that the sap can't circulate. The sap stops moving around the tree, and the tree dries out. Because of the outbreak, the European Commission has just issued an embargo on the export of untreated Portuguese wood. Specialists like Professor Manuel Mota fear that the worm will spread. Inside the forests, the nematode spreads fast thanks to this very common insect. I think it's impossible to completely eradicate nematodes. All we can do is exercise a rigid control system so that this nematode population is contained and limited to one small region. That's what the Portuguese authorities are trying to do with a new scheme they've put into place. Among other things, it obliges tree fellers to cut down all sick trees. But this young wood would not normally be felled this year. Sick wood loses its value. In some cases, it can lose 50% of its selling price. To that you have to add the extra 5% it costs to treat the affected trees. That gives you an idea of the loss and profits that fellers are losing because of the nematode invasion. Maritime pine is the second largest forest species in the country. Its commercialization offers a yearly turnover of 1,500 million euros and provides 55,000 jobs. The nematode scourge is particularly worrying for small businesses because the European restrictions compel them to make additional investments that are hard to finance. So the firms, in effect, what they have done is made sure that uh, either they buy a pine that is not made in Portugal, so that they can then transform it and sell, or that all the furniture that is exported comes with pine certified by thermal shock. Brussels is preparing a fresh series of measures to prevent the spread of nematodes to Spain and France.